great mark for it. With over 40 fights in his illustrious MMA career, Nate the Great Marquardt brings an arsenal of skits standing across from him. his way to the world famous octagon Nate Marquardt is damage set to enter the world famous octagon once again this guy is an animal our tale of the tape is brought to you by edge shave gel get your edge and now with the official introductions of our fighters Bruce Buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, 13.2 stone. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Nate the Great. Marquardt. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, 13.2 stone. Fighting out of Newark, New Jersey. Damage Sheets. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to Are you begin. Ready to fight? Nate Marquardt, Are you ready? damage. And we are underway. Come on, Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're damaged? He's hoping to continue his seemingly endless winning streak here tonight. Yeah, and as his level of competition goes up, he goes up with it. I love to watch this guy fight. Some vicious kicks. Looks like Marquardt is cut here, Mike. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, spinning, spinning heel back kick. kick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, those are vicious. Nice body shot and then hook combination. A lot of blood there looks nasty. Stop. Let's break. So the ref's going to stop the fight for a moment, let the doctor take a look at it. fight between Clay the Carpenter Guida and Frankie the Answer Edgar. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions and with that here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey. 
Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC lightweight champion of the world, Frankie the Answer Edgar. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Johnsburg, Illinois. Play the Carpenter Guida! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things okay, started. Are you Frankie ready? Edgar, are you ready? Clay Guida. Okay, fighters. Are you Frankie ready? Edgar. Are you ready? Clay Guida. And here we go. Joe, we always knew Clay Guida was relentless with his attack and that his cardio was second to none. But when he took the head kick from Diego Sanchez and just continued to fight, that brought, I think, a lot of people's respect for Guida to a whole new level. Yeah, he has tremendous heart and will, and it was very apparent when he got up from that head kick by Diego Sanchez. Nice right hand. Stuffed. Reversal. Very nice. Work that wrist control. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. All right, so they're back on their feet. Good takedown defense. Boom. Over under control. Big right hand. Back on their feet. He is taking a beating. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Watch him trying to bait you. Excellent combination. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Both guys staying in tight. He caught the kick. Again teeing off. Edgar is cut. Oh, nice left and a right. Nice right hand. Left hook, he's down. Edgar keeps getting tagged on that cut. He is bleeding bad. Nice job, double leg. Half guard. And back to full guard. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. shot and then hook combination oh ducking in and counters that nicely oh beautiful hook oh answered by a big body shot he can't take many more of these joe good counter though joe what an exchange here. Again with that left hook over and over again. And he answers. He is Vicious just keeping away. And another takedown. Pushes him off with the feet. Round 
one is complete. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it stable. It's a welterweight matchup between George Rush St. Pierre and one of the best in the world, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, BJ Penn. BJ Penn making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. BJ Penn is considered by many to be the greatest lightweight fighter to ever walk the planet. He's got outstanding jiu-jitsu skills and uncanny flexibility. He's also extremely dangerous on his feet with fast hands and very technical boxing skills. BJ Penn, fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. GSP is the definition of the modern mixed martial artist. He's extremely athletic, well versed in every single aspect of the sport, and no one is better at taking control of a fight. George St. Pierre ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Walter White division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Wanaku Hilo, Hawaii. He is the former UFC welterweight and lightweight champion, the prodigy BJ Penn. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler and Brazilian jiu jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. Pierre! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. BJ Penn, George St. Pierre. And here we go. We Let's are set fight. to get things started in this four man tournament for the UFC Welterweight Championship. Joe, any thoughts? This is a dangerous matchup for both of these guys, Mike. With top level fighters like this, it's going to be very difficult for either guy to get this win without taking some serious damage along the way. He drags him to the ground. Nicely done. Full, Full mount. mount. right hand back to their feet nice sprawl good takedown defense good shots ground and pound vicious got the hooks in Joey's got his back looks like st. Pierre's cut here Mike Is getting battered. Step the outside, keep control. Oh, head kick. And now Penn is cut open. Oh, nice left and a right. Push forward, push forward, don't retreat. Oh, looping hook there. Joe, this place is going wild. Oh, but he ate a left 
10. Left. He's got his back. Goes for a ride. Nice right hand. Back to their feet. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, but he's got him back. Drags him back again. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. Oh, he's going to look for a submission here. Go, go, Plata. Oh, that's nasty. locked in, Mike. That is locked in. 